Welcome to IS3 Podcast. I am Scribble, and this episode is the continuation of episode 9. When we recorded episode 9, we talked for a good a good two hours. We recorded for about uh, about two hours, maybe a little more. Um, I, edited, I edited it down to the 42 minutes that it was. Um, and then with this one, I've also... This is the other half of that episode that we, we recorded. Um... So I'm actually editing this into it now to, so you guys can understand what's going on so it doesn't start mid-sentence. Um, but yeah, if you haven't checked out episode 9, uh, be sure to go check out episode 9 of IS3 Podcast. Uh, we also uh, have a word from our sponsor. It's Good Life Advanced CBD. CBD hemp oil has become an amazing non-pharmaceutical oil that seems to be helping tens of thousands of people like you and I overcome a lot of ailments, pain, anxiety, and even been reported to cure some types of cancer. Well, when I heard that, I decided not to use CBD because it sounded ridiculous. Is CBD ridiculous? I don't think so. Talk to your friends, your coworkers, and neighbors. I decided to try CBD about six months ago. This stuff really seems to be doing miracles. Now, I'm not a doctor, a scientist, or anything like that. But I am a person like you who ends up with a lot of pain and stress just from running around all day. And if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. The stress alone will drive you crazy. For me, CBD CBD from a company called Good Life Advanced has been a miracle worker. Not only has it calmed my stress and anxiety, but I've had this pain in my leg for years. And this is going to sound ridiculous, but the pain is virtually gone. And it's so good to stop taking ibuprofen, aspirin, and other drugs. Who needs that stuff? I don't, and I'm sure you don't either. Will Good Life Advanced CBD Oil help you? All you, all you can do is try it. What do you have to lose, except possibly some pain, anxiety, stress? Hey, I'm more than happy to get rid of that any day of the week, and I'm sure you are too. There's a lot of CBD products available everywhere, but a lot of these are mixed with fillers and stuff you don't want. Not only does Good Life Advance have the highest quality CBD available, but they also guarantee it. That's how that's how good this stuff is. And to make something good even better, they have a 25% coupon available online. So now you can try CBD for yourself and get it at a lower price. So again, the only thing you have to lose is possibly getting rid of your aches and pains, stress, and anxiety. Give Good Life Advance a try. You'll be glad you did. At GLACBD. Dot com, and use the promotional code SCRIBBLE to get an additional 15% off your total for a total of 40% off your purchase. Use their promo code SCRIBBLE at GLACBD.com to get 40% off your purchase of any CBD products. All right, and here is the rest of the rest of the podcast from, ye- from yesterday when we recorded the two-hour session. Um... Like, now, uh, what is doing... Rex doing? Not the Rex stuff. Uh, fucking Ona doing all, all like about this shit. What do you That's mean? Been, like going on, like with you and shit. Because I know you're well known. Because like, oh, I have no idea. Mm. Uh, it's not a, not his say, not his faction. So, mm. I could bring it to Ryan if I needed to, but I but I have you, to I have to follow not... I have to follow the chain. So. Um, since I was removed by a chief of staff or director or whatever, so I have to go. If if it's a problem, like it's not really a problem to me. Like I I got yeah I'm pissed off I got removed, but like I was never active on medic anyway. I think I got maybe an hour every month or something. Um, yeah. But um, maybe not even that much to be honest. But if I if I have a problem with it, I need to go to a senior admin. Which I've already done. There's an open investigation right now on it, um, and then then through there I had to go through senior admin, the Grandma Gary, and then Ryan. It, it all has to follow a chain. Um, the, that's why a lot of people this says I need to speak to the owner right now about this guy RDMing me. It's like, well, sorry, bud, doesn't work like that. Fucking, yeah. So, um, so yeah, even even so, like even though I'm well known and. Apparently, I'm extremely toxic and a complete shitter. They, I still have to follow the the, the chain. Yeah. The, um, I'm actually getting messages right now about the investigation. Let me see what these say. Want to spill the beans? 
how we now say it, the T. I agree, Scribble is a shitter. I, I yeah, me too. So, Greg, you're so toxic. Hey, what's up, man? He's the most toxic, biased bitch ever. Yeah. But we still love you. He's also an RV traveling across. Hold on, hold on, hold on. West. Come on. You gotta, make, you gotta fucking reword your fucking saying next time you eat Subway. Because whatever the fuck you were saying sounded so fucking perverted. Like, it was like dripping. It's like the meat's like, I, I don't know. It's like how you were saying some shit. Well, it's I not like laughing. I knew I was gonna get it recorded. <laughs> You're assuming that I told Skrull to record it. He just recorded it and asked me if he wanted to use it, and I said sure. What happened? I I was reading this whole thing Talk about you eating your subway and fucking how you were explaining uh, it. How dude, that, dude, was... I was scarfing that thing down because it was like it, it was so messy. I had to scarf it down just to get rid of it. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Here, here's a message from one of the senior admins. They, can, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use their names because they don't want to be mentioned. But um, it says, seems like for all these issues, coffee might be the bearer of bad news rather than the guy who handles stuff. Um, for your retiree getting revoked, child will have to be okay with it. Um, for this person getting removed from medic, uh, I'm sure that person can request his higher up, um, which would be childish. Um, for a senior getting downvoted at staff meetings for asking questions could maybe be for another stuff only partial to staff um, and for this person getting permed uh, it could always get it could always get uh, overturned by me Doc, Gary or Ryan if un, if unsustained um, all things have a check and balance seems likely they haven't been seen all the way through so I don't know what that means, but that's the message I got back on the investigation. But hopefully they'll listen to this podcast and they'll actually hear the the actual recordings of, hey, you did this, or you said this, but the recording says, Shout no, I didn't. Podcast, bro. Yeah, no shit. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, you kind of just gave him a one. Huh? You gave the uh, senior admin a one. Oh, whatever. I don't care. No, I mean I wasn't gonna. I, I no, I mean I mean there's only two senior admins, um, so it's one or the other. But no, I was saying I wasn't gonna give the names to the people that were complaining about coffee because they don't want they don't want their names out. So I wasn't gonna call their names out. Where where was I with everything else? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. So what what year is this? Uh, anybody got any questions about anything? Like how things work or whatever? I know Intent said some stuff, but now he's muted, so. What is Olympus? <laughs> it's a very biased <laughs> community <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody said they wanted to switch over to APD. I don't know much about APD. I've only been a corporal. Um, and that's as high as I was. I turned down sergeant multiple times because you can't be a senior in two factions. So you can't be a senior R and R and a senior APD, and so I was I was offered sergeant multiple times, and I and I refused it because I was already a coordinator, so I was the highest ranking medic. And if I were to drop my medic rank to start at the bottom of a senior of another faction, that's so easy to lose, it wasn't worth it to me. So I just kept I kept turning it down. That's reasonable. I would do that shit too. Yeah, like I, I was the highest rank at, on medic. And so why would I jeopardize that to go be a sergeant where I could easily get it removed for one, especially the way I, especially the way I play where I was, uh, I was running around with somebody on cop earlier and uh, we, we were making somebody sing and then just letting me go. Like, uh, they were, they were shooting at us and robbing gas stations and stuff. And instead of charging them and removing their guns and doing the whole nine yards that we, we were making them do stupid shit and then we just let them go. And so, like, you could easily lose your sergeant rank over that. If somebody if somebody wanted to report and complain and bullshit, you could, you could easily lose it. And it wasn't worth it to me at the time. So, so yeah. for AP, APD, I can't really say much. I don't, I don't know much about it because I was only a corporal. However, I was senior. 
support team, and then I was staff. So if I you guys have any questions on how things work. at one point. Yeah. I, I had a good experience with you. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, because you, you wanted to do... Uh, it's yeah, like you, you're doing Simon Says. Like, no one, yeah. like, God damn. So I'm like, I got to baby if, like, anyone else does it. Like, I, yeah, I, I warned like, you not to do it. Like, I saw that you were playing you si I was on Civ with some random name. And I saw you playing Simon Says. And I said, you better not shoot him. I tried I tried warning you to not shoot him. And what'd you do? You fucking shot him, and I fucking banned you. <laughs> and then, like, we talked, and then you let me go. Yeah, I, I lifted it or reduced it or something. I don't remember. You no, did, did I even did I ban you or did I just did you I just take you somewhere? And I'm like, I'm like, okay, yeah, I yeah, because I pulled you into my channel with I was in I was in a channel with another staff member, and yeah, uh, I think I was with Jamie or somebody, and we were we were running around on Civ doing stupid shit, <laughs> which we always do. Yeah. Um, I miss Jamie actually. I miss playing with him, him and Eggman. That uh, you know what? Here's one thing I really miss about about Cop. They, you can no longer send an APD message from the APD. It, I think it's dumb. Because when when I first got staff, it was me, Jamie, and Eggman. And they, were, they were pretty much training me, showing me the ropes on how to do things with staff. And um, in-game in stuff like all the control, spectate, and um, god mode, and all that kind of stuff. And how to how to ban people and how to... They they were showing me the ropes, pretty much. And yeah. uh, <laughs> we, we got on cop... And uh, the first thing we did is that we, uh, one of them, I think Eggman was a sergeant or something. Yeah, he was a sergeant. And so first thing we did is that we restrained another cop, threw him into Hunter we were in, and then drove to the uh, uh, the racetrack just outside of Kavala by the black market. The, um, like yeah, the running yeah, run track the, with like the bleachers the and all that. Track racing, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And so we took him there. We we took two cops. We put them inside the the announcers booth, and then we called the cops as we were cops, telling them we had cops hostage, and they sent a negotiator. And as as soon as they agreed, they go, okay, we're coming. And so the negotiator come, we just lit them up, and uh, so then they came back. But um, but you can't do that anymore, and it, it's no fun. That you can't uh, cops can't send messages anymore. Two cops. And, but so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> we called for a negotiator. Negotiator shows up. We just spray him down. <laughs> no, I just say there's already a negotiator on the scene in SCU. They called it. Well, they they couldn't do that because I don't know. We were just having fun. It was fun. Yeah. Um. But uh, here's one thing. Here's one thing. Jay, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this or not, but. Because the staff doesn't really do um, events anymore. But um, for the events, that we have our own special menu that has a list of the events. We click on the event and um, then we uh, have people, then people say add. We tell people to do add. Like I have a whole copy of, of everything because I, I wrote everything down so I could just copy paste it into, into the um, staff messages. And... Uh, so when when they do an event, this is this is future reference, that we use a program called Battle Metrics. It's uh -huh. uh, it's its own website and and Archon and all that. So and that's where we do all the bands and everything. Um, and when we're doing an event, it's completely cross faction. We can see anything that's being typed. Uh, doesn't matter if it's direct vehicle group side chat, as long as it's being typed, it comes up in Battle Metrics. Um. And so, we, yeah. So we we use that to enter people into the event. So um, we say, hey, type add if you want to join the demo derby. They, and you got you got Lopez over here spamming add like twelve times. We see it, man. Yeah, you you don't have to you don't have to spam. You only have to do it once, and they we see yeah. it in battle metrics. So and it gets super annoying for people that that add 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 and. It would then we have to go through battle metrics. We have to scroll through past all the duplicates and then add the people that are only doing it once. And it's, it's really annoying. So for yeah. the future, only do add once, maybe twice. If you don't get added in like the first ten minutes, I do it again because there's plenty of time for somebody to for them to add you. Yeah. Um, but uh, they. They didn't have the admin revive yet when I was staff. 
Uh, they they added it like a month before I got removed. Um, so it was kind of AIDS, and we couldn't get it. If we got restrained, we couldn't get into our menu to do stuff. Uh, but now you can, mm-hmm. apparently. Um, but after they added after they added the admin revive, they you can when you open up your admin menu, you can see like who's who because uh, they're color coded, which is really cool. Yeah. The blue, all the blue names are cops. All the green names are medics. Uh, red names are staff, and pink names are people that are dead. So, mm-hmm. um, so whenever like I, Hattie does this all the time. He'll just kill you and then he'll admin revive you. Um, the so he he'll see your name, he'll kill you, and then he'll he'll scroll through the menu, see your names in pink, and then admin revive you. So. And that's just one of the insider things. Um, I don't know. That's that's pretty much it. Any like, do you have any questions about anything? Uh, does anybody have any questions about anything? Type type in chat yeah, if you I have question. questions about something. What's up? Uh, gang wars. What's your thought on uh, this uh, gang wars coming up? I think seven. <laughs> I think it's weak to be honest. Uh, there's only there's only like what eight people, eight eight gangs, eight or nine, something like no. that. Or what? For gang wars, like back in the day, gang wars, there's like 15 people. We had to, you had to expand it over like two days to to do it all. But now there's, I think, how many? How many's on there right now? Like eight, eight or nine gangs, something like that. Not very many. It's pretty weak. So, I think there needs to be more gangs, <laughs> more gangs, bigger gangs. Uh, think... Nine gangs exactly. Yeah, so it's not very. Thing here on the bracket. Uh, so honestly, I think it's pretty weak. Because I remember, remember back in the day, there's so many gangs, and you, we had to do it over a course of a couple of days, and it took all day to do to do um, a war. That's what, just because it, it took so long. Uh, it's probably any of you, any of you muted guys want to say anything. Or have any questions about anything? One will Olympus die. Uh, probably never, to be honest. Mm. Uh, because there's there's OG players that will always be on. Uh, the only the only way Olympus would die is if people stop donating. Wipe the server. No. Oh yeah, that too. That'd probably kill it, to be honest. If people stop donating, that's the only way it would die. Now, has like the donating thing has gone down the last past couple years? What do you mean? Uh, had gone down. Like, like pe- people, people are donating? not donating as much. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I I don't have. I never had access to looking at that stuff. But looking at the stats of things, it looks like it has gone down. It's because uh, normally it would the donation thing would fill up like the first day or two, and mm-hmm. now it's it's like what the fourth or something like that, and it's it's barely through the first tier. Mm-hmm. And so I think it has died down, but also it's died down because um, all the OG players have left. So I think that's a that's a big part of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going we're going on an hour right now. Um, let's see. Here's a question. Here's a question here. Uh, would you say that Senior R and R is a friend group uh, that you need to circle to be? In? Uh, yes and no. It's become it's becoming one of a certain friend group. So yes, I do believe it's becoming one. Uh, same with same with senior APD. Um, once once so many people get into it, then um, once so many people get into it, then it becomes a, a friend oriented thing, and it's it's at the point that it's becoming that. So. At the, so at the, at the time, yes and no. Damn. Uh, yeah, and Doc and Rex, so you guys can both talk now. I guess give you guys perms if you want to ask a question. Well, there, Doc was just typing, so. Yeah, I was laying. So I'm cool with that. Whichever. Hi, Doc. Welcome to the podcast, man. Hello. 
Hi. So, what's your thought on uh, a specific gang holding high powers in the community? I completely I... disagree with it. Yeah. I so don't. I there was, um, there yeah, was, I don't believe uh... that a single gang should have majority rules. I do not believe that at all. Because then it just sets it up for the gang. Are you, you're talking about how DB runs the server right now? Tactically? Yeah, essentially. They, yeah, yeah, because yeah, like, what is it, like 64% of. Um, the Civ Council is DB. Uh, pretty much all of the Civ yeah. Council's DB, as well as uh, half the sergeant. Mo- I, I think all the sergeants uh, are yeah. DB, and then like maybe one or two lieutenants are DB. Um, and yeah. yeah, and I don't agree with that at all. And that's another thing. I don't think it should be a majority rules thing, um, especially especially for a Civ Council. I think it, there needs to be. I think there needs to be. Nobody in the same gang, to be honest, because if you have, if you even have two people in the same gang, they're going to agree with each other. So I, I don't personally, I don't think any part of civ council should be the same gang, period. And that, that'll help. That will, that'll keep the debate going on things because, um, DB is a, DB is a huge gang now. They did a mass recruitment. They've been a big gang for a while. They've been on the server for a long time. They know the ins and outs of everything. D- like DB is a big gang now. Um, I think I think they're actually the biggest one because all the OG gang. They're I think one, they're one of the original OGs actually. Um, they are. I remember them when I was playing with NSM. If you even remember NSM. Yes, I do. I, uh, I actually I don't have the video anymore. It was on my old channel, but. Um, I do have a video where I married two NSM players. We were married? I married, yes. I We went to a church in, where was it? Sophia. It might have been Sophia. Because I know when I was in NSM, we like roamed Sophia. Like we, made, it was, we treated it like it was our Kavala. I don't think it was, I, I think it was like somewhere mid-map somewhere. We just, it might have been Athera. No, it wasn't Athera. I don't know. It was it wasn't a big town. It was just a random town that two people, two innocent people were at, and they're like, "Will you marry us?" And I'm like, "Sure, why not?" And so I I had this whole I looked up um, uh, the marriage vow things like the the whole ordained thing, and I had it recorded and um, I played the I played the video or played the recording of the ordaining things. Yeah, dig that up for me. Uh, it's was, it doesn't exist anymore because it was on my old channel and I deleted all the videos off of there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no. but yeah, I do remember I I did marry two NSM players, <laughs> long time ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I've yeah. been playing the server for a long ass time. Like. Yeah, same. I, I don't. Um, it's just crazy. But yeah, to answer your question, Doc, no, I totally disagree with the way it is right now. I think. I think nobody of the same gang should be on Civ Council. There should only be one. There shouldn't be at least two of the same gang people on Civ Council. So, would you I say believe. a better, um, uh, a better system for Civ Council would take, let's say, one person from uh, the biggest gangs on the server? So you have think, one person from Tree, one person from DB. Uh, and I think they way. should be seniors. I think they should be. I think the out of the OG gangs, the big gangs, the ones that the ones that actually do things, um, the ones that rob the ones that rob feds, the ones that fight cartels, the ones that do nothing but fight cops, uh, the big gangs. Uh, I think they should be seniors. One person from each of those should be seniors, um, and then random civ people form should form the rest of civ council. Is what I believe. I got another question for you, Mister Skir. Sure. What's your thought on the uh, uh, recent uh, poll to close five? The uh, close what? The, the recent po- uh, poll that Ryan posted about five of them. You close it? Did you see it? No, I haven't. Yeah, seen there's it. like 120 something uh, yeses and like 20 something noes. So um, five of them will be shutting down. Honestly, I don't have an opinion on it because I haven't played it, so I don't have an opinion on it. Um, I was actually my uh, 5M 
would not work with my current GTA, so I had to uninstall and reinstall. And when you're in an RV running off of 15 mega or 15 gigs of high speed, and the game is 84 gigs, it takes a while to download. I'm still downloading it. Um, so I, I just got like 12 days left. At, <laughs> at my, at, well, because I'm running 128 kilobits right now, and I don't I don't update it all the time. I just update it like whenever I'm sleeping or whenever I'm gone for the day or something. So I just do like little increments of updates. And so I reinstalled it so I could play it, but I couldn't reinstall it fast enough. So I haven't been able to play it. So I don't have an opinion. No. I think it should stay open because I, I believe the Olympus needs to expand its brand into other games. But if it's, yeah, if they can't Olympus keep it open. Is currently, uh, Olympus is currently expanding into Minecraft. Did you I know about yeah, I do. I didn't know about that, but Minecraft isn't hard to start. Like you can, you can start a server in Minecraft in about forty-five seconds. So, but but five M, there's it's a whole new whole new world of coding, um, and so a whole new rule book, whole new everything. Um, so I was, I'm actually really excited to play it, and I hope it stays up. And I hope Olympus continues to expand its brand into other games. Uh, instead of being, I think we talked about this in another in another podcast while back. Um, yeah, it was. I think it's episode four. We we're talking about it, and i I hope he expands. I hope he expands it, and I hope he's successful in expanding it. Other than Altus Life, because that's Olymp- Olympus that's is you- Olympus is a name now. That people people know it. Olympus right. Entertainment is a pre prestigious brand name. Yeah, it is now. Like when when people anybody that plays Arma when you say Olympus, it's Olympus and Asylum are head to head with each other. That when you say Olympus no, or you say Asylum, fucking Olympus is no, on top. no, no. I mean in 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 knowledge of knowing who they are. Oh, they, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Olympus is, Olympus is way better than Asylum by far. By- um, it's yeah. it's way better, like, but uh, but when you like say like when you like, say hey, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go play Olympus, asylum, people know what like, you're talking about, or you say hey, I'm gonna go play Asylum, people know what you're talking about. So it's it's a yeah, it's like, a well known yeah. name like that. Uh, same same with Code Four. Um, Code Code Four has so many so many servers, um, but they're they're all King of the Hill servers. So I when people say Code Four, they go oh, you're gonna go play King of the Hill. People would say, "I'm gonna go play Olympus." Oh, you're gonna go play Altus Life. All right. So like, it, it's a it's known like that, but but it's it's only known for that. Uh, so like, when people say, oh, "I'm gonna go play Olympus," they, I hope Olympus reaches a state when you say, "I'm gonna go play Olympus." Oh yeah, what are you gonna go play? Five uh, M, Altus Life, Minecraft. Like I I hope Olympus gets to that stage. I really do. I really do. All but, right. And one more question from me here. Okay. And this is for you to uh, me personally. Answer, which yes, you personally. Oh, personal questions. Yes. Personal questions. My current underwear color is blue. <laughs> <laughs> what color is your RV? Multicolored. Multicolored. Yeah, it's like tan and cream and like a. RV it's like a. It's like a. It's like yeah. It's like a white. It's like a dark white. It's like a RV. <laughs> so it's. So it's white. <laughs> no, it's no. It's like a. It's uh. No, it's rainbow. It, it's multicolored. That uh the the bottom half yeah the bottom half is like a tannish brown color. Um, the the top the main top base is like a cream creamish color, and then it's got like um, it's got decals that are they're like a not it's like a peach color not it's not quite pink it's like a like skin color like peach or something, uh, and then also has some some like bland teal on it in the decals. So the the base color the base colors are cream and brown. 
Brown and green. one more question because I just came up with it. Huh. <laughs> uh, so when did you start playing Olympus? Like what on, under like what ownership? Like beside McDilly, Peter, uh, uh, Aries, Ryan, you know, like one of them. Okay. Uh, when I first started playing, it was 2000, I think it was July 17th, 2014. I think. Right, so that would that would be under Poseidon. I think it was under Poseidon. Alright. I think I think and Hades is still around. Um I wasn't around for Ace at all. I know of Ace, but I wasn't around for him. Um So and I wasn't hardcore playing whenever I first started playing. I kinda I got on and trolled and broke rules and then left. Uh oh. at the at the time at the time, I was really into Wasteland, so. Right. And from your experience of flying Olympus for a great amount of years, can you tell me what was your favorite, you know, favorite ownership on Olympus? So, you know, sign up to Ryan. Uh, which one, you know, was yeah. your favorite? Uh, and he's really biased. I know you're yeah, really very, biased. Yeah, very biased. Um, no. Yeah. Um, it's actually it's a mix. It's a mix for two reasons. Um, oh, it's a mix for different reasons. Um, when McDilly was the owner, McDilly's probably my favorite playtime owner. Um, they whenever whenever McDilly was the owner, like everything ran smooth. He was, McDilly was super hands on. Um, if something was wrong, he'd go test it out. He'd go play. It's like, oh yeah, this is broke. We need to fix this. Um, and it, he was he was super hands on, and so, and he didn't put up with people's whiny shit like like happening now. Um, like uh, somebody was like, "Oh, he didn't process me correctly. Fucking deal with it, dude." It's it, it, like, legit what he would tell him. It's like fucking deal with it. Um, and so my playtime was is probably McDilly is my favorite favorite owner for playing the server. Um, for other things, uh, Peter was my favorite owner. Um, other things is in, like, we could, if we're playing with Peter, we can break rules and not get in trouble. Uh, we could we could do things outside the box, because when you're playing with Peter, rules don't apply. Uh, like, picking up cop cars and a hemet and then dropping them off into the water full of cops. It doesn't. The rules don't apply. Uh, grabbing grabbing a gun on medic and shooting somebody that's mouthing off. The rules don't apply. Uh, taking rest uh, combat restraining people and dropping them off buildings. The rules don't apply when you're playing with Peter. So that that was a lot of fun for those reasons. But to like actually play and have the server server run correctly and legitimately and. And just all around fun, McDilly is probably my favorite owner. Yeah, I could I could agree with you on that one. McDilly and Peter Long were both my favorite, uh, personally favorite. Yeah, same. Once Aries took over ownership of Olympus, it really kind of went downhill for me. Uh, but, well, uh, playing uh, a game and how staff were treating you know normal people and stuff, it kind of yeah. Just I'm went actually gonna comment on that. The I was talking with somebody about this earlier. I don't remember who it was, but the age gap in McDilly owning it and Ryan owning it, the age gap in staff and owners and authority has drastically changed. Um, like you said, when, all the OG players are gone, so now we. It's, yeah, it's all kids. Yeah, it's all kids. And toxic. Uh, they're, I mean, they're all millennials that need a safe space. To be honest. Um, when they get their feelings hurt. Um, but when McDilly was the owner, all the staff they were they were adults. Um, so the server was owned and ran by adults. And now, whenever Ryan's the owner, all the staff are they're all kids. So and kid, kids in a sense that they're much younger than I am. I'm 32. These guys are like 22, 25. I, I think I think there's one staff that's like 31. 32 something like that um but like er everyone else they they're they're their kids they're barely 20 years old and so going 
having going from owners and staff that were in their late 20s, 30s, some of them even 40s into a which which by the way, I'm actually older than Peter Lung. Did you know that? No. Yeah, I'm I'm actually older than Peter. Um but uh I didn't know that either. Oh. Until until he said something about his until it was like his birthday or something. But I didn't know I didn't know I was older than he was. Um but uh going from adults running it to now children running it, so to speak, it's that's part of its downfall right now, to be honest. It's becoming it's becoming ran by children, bunch of friends, bunch of biasness. Um, and that's that's where Olympus, and it needs to make a drastic change into a into the business that Olympus is instead of being everybody's friend for to progress, I believe. Can I show your opinion on perm bands real quick? No. Oof. Yeah, sure, what's up? <laughs> so, obviously, a perm ban in Olympus doesn't really mean much. It doesn't have... Yeah, a perm, perm, a like perm ban is roughly four months. Yeah, a perm ban is not um, a perm on Olympus. It, it, it lasts for a short amount of time. And this gets into the fact of the age of staff. Do you think the, the fact that the staff are so young that they just don't feel that a perm ban would do anything? No, so, I think... That's kind of a that's actually a tricky question because I think people that are staff now and the owner and his his group of friends they're all OG players. Um, and back in the day when it was being ran by adults, all the OGs got banned for multiple things: scripting, pull downs, hacking. They they all got perm banned for that. So now that the OG player is now owner. And he can do whatever he wants. He's bringing in his friend group back that were banned back in the day, um, and that's that's where I see that at. So it's kind of a tricky question. So they were he the players were banned by adults for a reason, and then they're brought back by a child for friends. If that makes does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, keeping on the topic of stuff, real quick. Um... What do you think about support team becoming redundant now? Uh, we we actually it, we spoke about this in another podcast before. Um, it's not really redundant. Um, it's more of it's not being ranked correctly, and I think now that Max is the now that Max is the lead, I think he's going to pull it back to being ran the way it needs to be, or the way it's designed to be ran. Um, because the uh, we did speak about this in another in another podcast before but um the way support team works is is to support the players of olympus it's not to be your fucking babysitter and your mediator it's not that's not support team's job and that's what that's what it slowly became into um but support team originally is designed for new players to if they have any questions on how things work or what they're supposed to do, or how to do things, or how to report somebody. The the support team's job is to direct them and guide them on how to do things. That that that's the that's the definition of support team. But what it's turned into lately, in the last six months, is support team is a babysitter for people that aren't getting processed correctly because some because they the person said that they didn't have any blood or fingerprints or an ID chip or or anything and then the person says oh I found your license anyway and then they they complain that they're not role playing and so they they go meet me in the support room because I'm butt hurt and I need a babysitter to mediate this for me and that's what it's that's what it's become and I'm really hoping Max steps up and and sets it the right way and uh, the way it's designed to be the way it was designed Instead of having it be a, a babysitting room, yeah. uh, I was I was actually hanging out in sport team all day with Grego actually, and people. <laughs> this one kid kept coming in multiple times. What was his name, Grego Hunter, or something? Hunter, he wanted yeah. us to came, came he in. Was it Rev? Uh, was it no, Rev? Or? I don't know. Just, his name was just Hunter, but he came in multiple times to sport team. 
and he kept wanting to show us a video or a photo. He was, he set up a roadblock, which which he 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 wanted to get clarification on rules with roadblocks, which is perfectly fine, which is what what our job is. That he wanted to know if it if it was bannable to set up a roadblock. No, it's not. And then somebody came in with a car bomb, blew it up. He wanted to know if it was bannable. No, it's not. Not a big deal. But then he then he goes, "Do you guys want to see this photo?" And me and Greg go both at the same time. We go, "No." And it, it was just really funny. He goes, and then um, somebody blew it up with a with a car bomb. And so he came back in. And he goes, "Can I show you guys this video?" And we both couldn't know, and just moved him out. And so it, we're not we're not babysitters. We, we don't. We don't look at videos. We don't look at photos to tell you our opinion. To get somebody banned or to ban somebody, it is not our opinion at all. Um, so our opinion does not matter on your video or your photo or anything. It does yeah. not. It doesn't matter. That's what that's what the player report system is for, and that's what the staff is for. The staff is the ones that make those decisions. Support team has no say in it, and a support team member can tell you. They can tell you that they think it's bannable, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Like, there's no point in even asking because it doesn't matter what support team says on cases being bannable. That's not their job. So, huh. so I want to roll out. I'm tired. All right, man. Yeah. So, so see to close. Later. See you later, man. So to close that one, I I think the I I hope that Max puts it back the way it was built and designed to do so i really hope he does and like i i have hope for olympus like i'm like i've been removed from things and like i'm not mad like uh, most of it some some things i was removed for I, I deserved it and i'm not doubting that one bit and i'm not mad about it because you know i it was my own fault like getting removed from staff completely my fault i'm not mad about it i deserved it so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go hack the server. I'm not gonna go RDM on an RDMing spree like a lot of people do. Um, you know, the and I hope the best for Olympus. I I hope that the new people that are becoming chief and director and leads and staff. I I I'm hoping they turn it around where the way it's supposed to be ran and treat it like a company instead of a hangout zone with for with their friends. Because tech, because right, <clears throat> right now the way it stands, Olympus is a company, and in a sense, it's it's a brand, and it needs to be ran like a company, it needs to be ran like a brand, and not not a friend zone, not a not a friends hangout, you know, it, it won't succeed to having your best friends as as everything, it's because then nobody's nobody's gonna want to join because. It would be unfair because you have all your friends running it instead of instead of it being ran by a community. So, like, with Ch- Childish just told me his idea. He's now director. He told me his ideas a long time ago. He's he's laid a few ideas down, and he has great ideas, and I hope he holds to them. Uh, Chris is chief. The, he has a bunch of good ideas, and I, I hope he brings APD around, and it stops being so... Uh, easy, easily to get your rank ripped. I hope it brings it around to that. It's like they they need. I'm hoping these people put in the backbone that Olympus needs, instead of having it ran by a bunch of babies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and the same with support team. I I hope a Max puts support team back together the way it was designed to be ran. And so I I hope for the best that he does it. And then Ryan, Ryan's the owner of the. Ryan's the owner of the company Olympus right now, or the brand of Olympus. He owns it, and I hope for the best. And I hope he, I hope he expands it into other things other than Altus Life. And so, it's like I'm, like I'm not envious or anything to, of other people. It's like I, I really hope I, I want to see Olympus succeed. I want to see the brand of Olympus succeed. But if you, if you always have your friends and you make your little groups of friends at the high ranks. It's it will not go anywhere. People will people will quit before they join. And if if that's how it's going to be ran, so that's kind of it's kind of like um you know the, you know the old saying, um don't hire your friends to work for you. Hmm. Kind of it's kind of like those things. The because you can't you can't fire your friend or you're gonna you can't fire your friend or you're gonna lose your friendship. And you can't keep your friend because your business will go down. You know what I mean? 
It's kind of yeah, 100%. and I and I'm hoping Olympus doesn't turn into that, but that's the direction that it's going. And I really hope I really hope these leads and directors and chiefs and and owners and and staff and all these high ranks that make the decision on how the community works. I hope they turn it around to run it like a business, like it is. I really hope they do. Yeah, that's that. Um, anybody have Are you any- talking? Yeah, um, meat padding. What's your thoughts on the current status of? Uh, you're only allowed to do it with bedazzled knee pads, um, and you have to do yeah, it full mouth. And I do, I do have bedazzled knee pads. Uh, no, um, it's kind of a that's that's your own thing, really. Um, you can knee pad all you want. You know, it's if you want to. Everyone's gonna have the everyone's gonna have the kiss ass at their job. The everyone's gonna have a teacher's pet. Everyone's gonna like that's just how some people are. A lot of mo- there's a lot of people are followers. A lot of people are leaders. So the the people that are born and raised to be followers are gonna be the they're gonna be the kiss asses and the suck ups and the knee patters, and let them do it. I mean, so you know that's that's how they that's how they do things. People that are born to be leaders, or will, will it'll show, and you'll, and hopefully the higher ranks and higher people see that these people are born to lead and not born to suck dick. So that's how that is. That's how I see it, at least. Um, well, I don't have questions, and I'll see how many start making up. <laughs> really good at well, doing that. I think we're getting ready to close this out. It's, we're we're going on an over an hour, hour and a half almost. Um, you Doc, you have any other questions uh, or anything? No, you, yeah, you've answered all the questions that I had. All right. Well, this really wasn't much of a. I thought I was going to go into a lot more tell all, but it was more of like just a rant at the beginning. So it's whatever. I really don't have anything to tell unless people ask. You know. If you want to know if you want to know something, I'll tell you if I know it. But well, there there was some recent controversy in the uh, community recently about what? Well, you had the Jester situation where he yes, uh, I do, I think that was complete bullshit. Wait, what do you mean complete bullshit? All right, so for for you listeners that don't know, the Jester was the support team lead. Um, he. Max now holds his position. So Max is a sport team lead now. Chester was the sport team lead before before Max. Um, so what happened with Chester was they, he pissed somebody off. I don't know who it was. I think it was DB. He pissed off DB. And which goes back to what you were saying earlier about DB running the server dock, uh, which they, yeah. they technically do. You know, they, they have more than 50% of Civ Council. They have, um, they have the senior APD ranks. So yeah, they technically do. Um, I mean, the the senior admins and owner can say can get rid of them all easily if they if they want to, but because um, they have they have the final say anyway. The the owner does has has final say, so they can easily get rid of the problem if there is one. But uh, with Jester, they he he pissed off somebody in DB. And they reported him for doxing somebody, which he never did, never attempted to. Uh, and so he got perm banned. Uh, for he got well, he got the report came in. He got perm banned, and then later on, they found out it none of it was true. So when he got perm banned, he lost his. I think it was FTO, wasn't he? He lost his. He lost his cop. His FTO. He lost his. Um, senior support team lead rank um and then after they found out none of this even happened and he got unbanned because he was false banned to begin with he didn't get any of his stuff back he didn't get he didn't get his lead back which he never he never would have lost his lead if he wasn't banned and he was false banned so he should have got it back um so i think his whole case is complete bullshit and i and he should get all of his stuff back since he was falsely banned and that's that's what I believe. Yeah. Oh shit! 
Let me go to randomquestions.org real quick. <laughs> All right. I think well, that's a website. I don't know. We're, I think we're going to close this out, to be honest. Uh, nobody has any other questions about anything they want to know about Olympus or whatever. Pretty much the topic of Olympus. Mohawks are coming back, actually. For medics. For coordinator or search uh, and rescue? Search and rescue. Uh, they're actually hey, getting they're fine. getting rid they're getting rid of the Taru. And they're good, good. and they're getting the Mohawks. Finally, so because, the decision made by the R and R. See, that's that's some of the decisions that Childish is making, and and that's where I'm like, all right, he's got good ideas, man, and bring it back. Uh, and that's where that's where I hope that he succeeds and keeps keeps what he or does what he says he wants to do, and I hope he does it because with his ideas and what he wants, like he has really good ideas, and I support him. As long as he as long as he keeps it, and not just says he's gonna do all this stuff, and then. Gets the rank and then fucks off, you know. So, so I hope he, I hope he progresses with what he wants to do and how he wants to do things. I hope he, I hope he does. So yeah, that's one of the things. Um, oh, one more question. I one more question. Something. Another question. This is the last, this is the last <laughs> question. All right, and all right. We, okay. So since I was a supervisor, I have access to. Well, I don't have access, but I do have a few ghost socks and a few hunters. What, what, what would be your thought on it if Childish would add it, like add something in the handbook where uh, people who have at, who have uh, vehicles in their garage, like uh, ghost socks and hunters, can utilize them if they're not, you know, supervisor? I think um, I disagree with that and agree with that at the same time. Um, mainly because there's people that make their way all the way up to search and rescue and then they quit for like six months. Uh, and then they have to start back at EMT or something. Um, and they don't have access to their SNR vehicles anymore. Um, so I agree with it that if you were a stat, if you were a senior medic before, you should be able to have access to any and all of your vehicles, uh, because you were a senior. But I disagree with it because if you are not a senior and you have to start at the bottom, like you got blacklisted or something, and you have to start back at EMT, you shouldn't be able to drive your Strider around um, because you have it. So I think if you were, if you were a senior in the past, you should be able to use any of your vehicles that you have. But that's yeah, only that's gotta, only for you if know, you were a senior. I am not whitelisted well, as a supervisor, but I was. A supervisor. Yeah, I think if you, I think if you were a supervisor, you, supervisor, coordinator, director, whoever, I think if you were a senior medic, you should be able to have, use, utilize any of your vehicles in your inventory. Yeah, I know. Because, uh, because you made it. To no, a childish had to rule where, uh, if you know, if there's in the you know the yes. back of the ghost song, whatever rank you could fly, right. helicopter, which I like, I like that rule, but. For someone, you know, like me and like you now, since you're in this situation, you know, it's not really, that's what I'm looking for. It's not really practical to carry around a supervisor if you want to fly around in your uh, ghost sock. To right. Put, keep a supervisor in the back of your helmet. You yep. know, because that's just, that's just really giving the supervisor time to AFK. Yeah, I agree. Because I could easily go get the EMT if I was still a supervisor. I could go get the EMT and Caval, let him fly my ghost socks around. Nope, you for couldn't. a couple hours. And... Nope, you couldn't. Uh, it's only for um, ground vehicles, and you have to be flight certified to fly the ghost sock. Oh, okay. So, search so and uh, not search, uh, advanced paramedic. Uh, yep, advanced, uh, par advanced paramedic and up can fly your ghost sock, um, but an EMT can drive your hunter. So yeah, I could basically go tell a advanced paramedic who's been dying to fly a ghost sock for a long time and say, hey, go at it for, you know, an hour yeah. or two and you get my time. Yeah, pretty much. You know? Yep. And I just and the, think that's you, not really... Then you buddy up with them, you buddy up with them and you just sit there. But yeah, uh, um, if nobody has any other questions, I guess that'll be... Yeah. I'm, I'm done. I'm done for my part. Like, I'm done with questions. <laughs> Doc, you have anything? What, the, no, uh, no more questions. 
So what the podcast right now is currently standing at a a long time, almost two hours now, or probably two. a while. Yeah, and I doubt that people are gonna watch the full thing. No, I'm gonna cut it up. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, it's uh, two hours, kind yeah, of a long time for to hear the the way the way this started. Right? Yeah, the the way this started and the way this ended are two different things. So I'm gonna cut it into two different casts. Uh. But, uh, yeah, nobody's got any other questions. Uh, thanks for listening to this very long, very random rant of IS3 podcast. I'm Scribble. I'm here with Grego and Doc. Everyone else left because we've been doing this for so long. Um, if anybody has any questions or comments or anything, just leave a five-star review with your comment or a question or whatever you want, and we will answer it in the next podcast.